Right, so today I I will try to draw this object using FreeCAD. So uh, the first thing I need to do is I want to drag and drop uh, the image into FreeCAD. And you have the image here. So I will rename it. I click on it and I rename it to something like a reference. Okay. Next, I will uh, go up here, view, and toggle the axis cross to show the arrow uh, the, uh, to know that what is going on in the scene. I want to model this uh, object in the front view, so I will rotate this image uh, 90 degree uh, facing uh, to the front view. I click on it and I right click and I click on transform. I type in here the rotation increment to 90 and I rotate this right, this, uh, this uh, x axis 90 degree and I will move it back a little bit and I have in this reference setup. I click OK for that. Next I will try to um, jump into the sketcher to sketch the outline of this object. Let's try to jump into sketcher. I will uh, sketch the left uh, uh, line first and then uh, the right line and then I will try to sketch the middle line uh, using the mist curve uh, in the um, uh, curve work pen to create the middle line. Let me show you. So the first thing you need to do is um, create a new sketch on the front view. And I will uh, sketching. The, let's try the beast ply for that. We'll try this uh, line first. Something like this. I right click to uh, confirm that. And uh, let's see. I right click again to enter. Uh, now I will uh, adjusting the curve matching the shape of the object. Uh, okay. So I will pause that. As you can see we have the first profile okay let me go back and adjust in the curve a little bit double click on it and adjust in this area make it smoother close that i will call this one uh i right click and then rename it left to uh, the base underscore F. Okay. Next, I will uh, create the uh, uh, the line on the right. Go to the sketch, create a new sketch on the front. Okay, and I will before sketching, I want to reference this point up here and this point out here. So I go to the external uh, geometry, create the external geometry. Click on it. Or you can use the hotkey G and S, G and S to um, create the external geometry, and then you click on it. You can see we have the upper uh, point and the lower point. I right click to uh, confirm that. Now I create this fly tracing. Like this I will adjust it I close that now I have uh, two line so I will rename this one base underscore right now I will create um, uh, the middle light and then I will um, use the mist curve in the curve work pen to uh, make it. So let's uh, create a new sketch on the uh, front plane. 
again astronomical geometry you can click on this line and can you see the middle right something like this make sure this uh, probably consistent with this reference right something like this and close that and I have this line here but you see this line is actually flat I want it to when you see it on the right view I want it to curve like uh, curve up like this by pointing in this direction so I will use another sketch to uh, uh, define the curve of it I create a new sketch on the right view and for that I will create also external geometry click on it and it rotate the viewport and I click on the middle line and I have the external geometry here now I go to the right view again and I uh, let's see create the beast line start from here go up like this two point and go down down you to make point uh, and then we have a curve like this you can adjust the curve to whatever uh, you like uh, simple like this close that and I have another curve I go to the front view and next I jump into the curve work pen if you don't have the curve work pen you can go up here tool add on manager and you click on the work benches up here and you type in here curve uh, you click on the curve work pen and you click install after you install that uh, you uh, restart free card and you have it you should have the interface like this next you click on nothing right and you go to the tree view you click on the sketch 002 and control what in this sketch 003 you click on the miss curve and you have the middle uh the blending curve between between the sketch and sketch 3 right so if you want to change the shape of the curve later you can go down here and double click on it and you're adjusting the curve and then for example you're adjusting this curve like this right you close that and the uh the miss curve also update right i will go back and adjust it back put it back close that right so you have the shop like this next i will jump into the part work print and i will call this one base uh let's see middle right call this one base middle and i use the loft tool click on it and i will start from left to right base left put it to the right middle put it to the right and the right put it to the the right uh, I click OK for that. Now you have the surface. But I want the surface to be sharp like this. I click on the loft again and I go down to the data. And the option rule, I change it to two. Because uh, I want uh, uh, the surface here is the rule surface, right? So you can see it's sharp. I go down here and I will hide the one of these guy here. Here's spy, spy bar to hide this and you can see we still have um, if you zoom in here you, you can see we have something like a fillet in this area in this slide here right so maybe I will try to uh, add a fillet to it I click on the middle line and uh, I see I go to fillet tool click OK for that you see we have a fillet 
But if we zoom in here, you can see we have a problem uh, with this fillet. Let me uh, double click on it and we try another number, something bigger. You can see. Uh, we have a good fillet here. Next, I will try to close the bottom face. I click on this uh, image and I hide it by hitting the space bar to hide it. Next, I go to the surface work pen. Click on it and go to the surface. And I will try this tool called the fillet. The feeling is uh, you create a surface from a series of uh, picket uh, boundaries edge. So if you use this tool, you need to click on the edge in order. For example, in sequence, uh, you click on the tool and you go, you just selecting the edge, this one. Then the next edge will be this one. The next will be this one. Go down here. And that will be this, this one, right? And you have the surface. Click OK for that. Now you have the object created. Next, uh, I want to join them together. I go back to the uh, prop work pen. And I click on the fill, the fill that, and control select in the uh, surface. And I want to put uh, unity. Uh, just click OK for that. And then you have object. Next, I will try to put a little bit of color or material to it. I bring back the reference, click on it, and hit spy bar. I click on the fusion and control D. Hit control D to show the uh, display property. Instead of using flat line, I use the shed. And let's try some material here. Right. We don't have uh, so many options here. Let's try uh, the brass. This one, yeah. And you click on this uh, one and you choose the color. You choose the, choose the picker screen color. And then you move over here and click on it, and you have the uh, material. Let's try another one. Maybe chrome. Brass. Something like this. I close that and I want to uh, make it uh, more smooth. I click on the fusion and go down here, view, and choose the division, deviation, which is uh, the smaller number 0 0.03, oh, sorry, 5 to make the, the surface smoother. Something like this. and just created uh, the object. 